Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to another video. So in this one, we are going to look at how we can add background sound to our levels. There are a couple of ways to do it. And in this video, we are going to cover three ways that you can do the job. First of all, you need to know that the format that Unreal can work with is WAVE. It doesn't work with MP4 format. So if you have an MP4 file, you just need to go to one of these uh, converter sites and convert the file into a WAV format. Then drag it into your content browser and now you can see that Unreal can read it. Well, the easiest way to do it is just to drag the audio into your level and as you can see when you play it you can hear the sound but the thing here is that you cannot have any control over it and you cannot code for example you cannot control when it plays or when it stops or when it fades out so the next way is to add the sound in your blueprints for instance you can go to your level blueprint and here add an event begin play and next called this function play sound 2d and then here choose the sound that you want to play now you can see that when i play the game the audio is being played but let's say that we want to be able to pause it or fade in and fade out. This function does not return any value for us to work with. So another way to do it is to add spawn sound 2D. This function gives us this return value that we can use for adding other functions to the sound. So let's delete this guy here and then here play our audio. And now, for example, you can add a delay for two seconds and then drag off a wire from this return value pin, search for set paused and plug this in by double clicking on your wires you are able to add these reroute notes so your blueprints look a little cleaner and easier to understand here in the set pause function we can check this boolean and what it does is that after two seconds it will pause the audio that is being played There are other nodes as well. For example, you can add a fade out effect. So instead of pausing it, we can just add a fade out. And let's call the fade out function after four seconds. We need to give a value here for example let's set it on two and now it should work yeah we can also add a fade in effect as well so for example here drag off a wire from this return value search for fade in and plug it in let's set it on two and play the level you can see that it's working perfectly all right the final thing i want to talk about is where you should put all these functions in your project we are setting these in our level blueprint meaning that it will work only in this level here if you want to have this in all of your levels and you don't want to copy and paste this in your level blueprints in all of the levels you can just copy this into your character blueprint here we are working with a third person template and our character is this third person a blueprint so open it up and here just paste all these here and then connect it to your 
events begin play flow so this way you can have these in all of the levels that your third person character is being spawned at yeah that's it guys for this video and if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one